Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for registering and signing up to do the Mastering Life series um, with me. My name is Brittany McDonald. I am the host of this session. Uh, it is possible that we may, over the course of time, have different partners join us, um, different individuals who may be able to speak on the various topics that we are going to do across this session. But uh, for now, I am your host. A bit of background about me, um, as I mentioned, my name is Brittany McDonald, and I am originally from Jamaica. I live in Antigua and Barbuda, grew up here, and I have lived in both the Caribbean as well as the United States, um, and in both instances, done school and also work in both locations. So. Um, I have a bit of a broad background in that perspective. I've also worked across several different industries um, from transportation, infrastructure, event management, uh, communications, and those realms, so to speak. So a broad perspective, and then also some of the micro aspects that fit under that, which would include uh, gender affairs, um, labor relations, human resourcing, um, topics like that, that also are cross-sectional across various industries. And so why I decided to do this particular series is truly out of passion, truly out of passion and wanting to be able to give back to my community, to encourage young people, um, and to be able to find a way to mix mentorship with reality. And so that is the main reason why I would have created uh, this particular series. And it's meant to be very interactive. I don't want to be the only person speaking. I want to be able to hear from you to connect with you on a variety of topics, what you're experiencing in your life, and to be able to share that with um, our community that we are going to build here. I'll get into the series a bit more in detail um, in, a few of, uh, in a few minutes, but I want to be able to just express that this is a safe space. And even though the sessions are recorded, um, there are guidelines that we should follow so that we're making sure that every encounter with each other is respectful and that we're really creating that community um, that it is intended to be. So just to go over some of the ground rules, ground rules are very important. It lets us know exactly where um, we should all stand and that we agree to these rules. Don't worry, you don't have to remember them all right now. I will send them out in an email and it's also in this recording. Um, but the first one is respect. Um, participants should respect each other, each other's opinions, your perspectives, even if you disagree. I always say that conflict is inevitable. And because of that, um, we have to be able to understand that someone may have a different perspective from us and that they would be able to share that perspective and receive feedback on it. Um, we can provide information, resources, but we want to make sure that when we're communicating, whether it's our tone, our body language, um, even our word choices that we're maintaining respect. Mm -hmm. The next is active listening. We're here to learn not only from me, but each other and anyone that joins our community, um, whether that's an expert or um, a partner for the program. We want to make sure that we're tuned in, that we're distraction free, and that we're actively listening so that we aren't interrupting each other when we're speaking. We wait until persons are able to complete their thoughts so that they don't lose their train of thought. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, um, but sometimes you're trying to make a, a statement um, and explain yourself and then it gets interrupted. So I don't want that to happen in this space. I want us to make sure that while we're maintaining dynamic interactions, that we're having communication that is smooth and also maintaining that respect. The next is to participate. We are here to learn, to connect, and the experience is only going to be as fulfilling as you make it. And so with that, I want us to focus on being participants, being active in the process, whether that's completing a poll, whether that's you know sharing your input or your insights or sharing that you need more information in order to contribute 
to the discussion. All of that is participation. Then timeliness. Make sure that you're arriving to the sessions on time. We do want to start punctually the sessions each week or each month or whatever activity that we're doing. Um, that way you're able to get the most of it. But we are recording the sessions so that in case you aren't here, that you're able to uh, still connect and still pick up where you left off. It's also um, recorded so that we're able to reach more persons who may not be able to sign in on that particular session day. And so that focus is very important for us to be able to um, participate and give opportunity for others as well. And the next is to keep an open mind. Yes, um, sometimes we find that um, we have a perspective and this may be a core belief and another person may have that particular tenant has a core belief as well. We want to keep an open mind as much as possible and ensure that we are allowing everyone to speak freely their opinions, their thoughts on a particular item or sharing their experiences. So the approach overall is to keep an open mind as to what this interaction is. It's going to be very dynamic. Um, and it's not only going to be limited to this virtual environment. Um, as we proceed further, um, going over some of the main core topics, eventually we'll be able to have more of a physical interaction, maybe going to a location and having that hands-on application process. Um, in line with keeping an open mind is that this is a no judgment zone. So if someone says that they like to drink water, for example, at the, the beginning of the day at 6 a.m. before they do anything else. Um, it's not our place to judge that person for that particular decision. Um, we are here to learn from each other and I will be here to provide guidance so that um, if there is maybe a, a easier way to drink that water, I would provide some suggestions, uh, but in general, this is a judgment-free zone. The next is cell phone usage and background noise. Uh, do try as much as possible to keep your background quiet, noise free. As you heard, I had an alarm go off on my phone, even though it was silent. So I do apologize for that. Um, but I will, on my end, make sure that my environment is noise free so that one, as we're record recording, you're able to you know, hear everything that's going on. Um, and likewise, when you're speaking, we want to be able to hear you and to interact with you. Um, so making sure that your background is noise free as well as any use of a cell phone, um, you keep it on silent or maybe on vibrate. Um, of course, within reason, we know that some persons may have children or um, be taking care of a loved one, for example. Um, so feel free to tune in. There's also options for you to use, such as the chat, um, and also to engage in the WhatsApp group um, that we will be creating for this particular series and session. Great. So those are some of the ground rules. Please feel free to interact and let us know what others you would want to see um, has a ground rule for our community and for these series. Um, let us know. Okay. All right. So going into the Mastering Life series a bit more. Can you guess why it's called Mastering Life? Okay, so I'll give you a quick background. Oh, there's that alarm again, hold on. One second, let me turn it off. Oh, it's on like repeating. So, okay, that alarm is definitely off now. Okay, so a bit of background as to why it's called the Mastering Life series. And it, it's part of the inspiration as well. Not only this, but, um, a part of it. So I would have uh, had a plan for myself. And I would say that maybe around, let's say 15, I knew, okay, this is what I wanted to do by 20. This is what I wanted to do by 25. This is where I saw myself at 30. And I had somewhat of a fairy tale of what that could be, a vision, right? And so I said, this is what I'm working towards. And has life happened? hence the life part, <laughs> as life happened, um, I said, wow, things are not going to plan. <laughs> it's, it's like actually failing, <laughs> failing at life. Um, and then that made me more comfortable with failure. And we'll get into that in a future session. But being more comfortable to fail actually helped me improve my overall experience in life. And that's 
and that that approach changed my perspective and it changed my overall vision for myself and how I experienced life and how I interacted with others. And so as I would try new things, I would go along and some things went really well quickly and some things just crashed and burned um, and didn't go well and allowed me to change and pivot to the point where I am today. And I said to myself, wait a minute, if I had known at maybe like 15, maybe at 18, maybe at 20, um, and maybe there's someone also at my age um, or older, you know, a young person. So that's where the, the criteria became defined. Um, a young person who was trying to figure things out and wondering, hey, maybe why is this not working? Or how can I improve in this area? Um, how can I feel or get support? You know, what is my resource? And I said that I wanted to be a part of that resource as well as pull in some of the, the resources that I have access to, some of the people who would have helped me along the way. And also express how you can figure it out on your own to some degree as well. And that that overall process is part of the beauty of life. So in terms of our overall perspective about how this series is going to go, it's part self-help, self-care, but it's also tangible resources, tangible items that you can use right now, you can apply in this very moment and moving forward into your week um, in becoming not just a better person, um, because it does have other layers to it, but also finding a way to improve your life, improve your relationships and interactions with people, improve um, your your financial status, improve your networking and your ability to access resources in a particular area. And so that is a bit of the background and how Mastering Life was was born and created. And that's where I will be sharing um, some of these topics with you. So let's dive right in to the topics that we would be discussing. And so we have here our um, introductory workshop, right? And then we'll be going in to various topics that I found um, based on a few surveys, especially with youth and that, that focus with us in the Caribbean, where we wanted to highlight. And so part of the interaction is, are these for this particular group? Let me know. Um, if you want to discuss a different topic um, or have a one-on-one -on -one session on a particular topic, that option is available. But I'll go through this, the workshop topics that we have outlined thus far. So the first is a critical thinking workshop. Um, we will be discussing how to think about items and really to, um, to, to separate an idea and a thought into workable, actionable pieces when there is information and when there isn't information. And so that is one of the areas that can help you, you know, across uh, work uh, your, in, in your career and also uh, financial and um, relationships in situations unknown and various risk areas. All of that um, is a part of critical thinking. And then the next is decision making. How do we decide which route to go? And so this workshop will be more scenario based because it, it needs theory, yes, but we'll be focusing on some of the application aspects and catering to different learning styles. And that's very important to us um, throughout the Mastering Life series. We wanna make sure that it is that we're focused on not just theory, not just you know any activity that's maybe writing focused, but that it's also visual as well. And that um, we're looking at different ways that you may learn um, throughout the series. So that is another um, aspect, decision-making. Um, then we'll also go into um, some writing aspects. So um, resume and cover letter writing so that you're able to um, apply for a job, or if you are in human resources and getting into that, how you can assist your 
um, your manager in that particular area, finding out what is a good resume, what does a good cover letter look like, and how you can put those key points in and really um, highlight your skills and your, your work ethic and what you would be contributing as an asset to a particular entity. The next one is problem solving. And so life is a series of problems. I saw something um, on Instagram or Facebook that said, being an adult is multiple crises happening simultaneously. And I, I've shared that with a few of my, my colleagues. And one thing I can definitely tell you is that we thought it's just going to be one problem at a time, <laughs> not multiple problems at once. And so the fact that there are multiple problems <laughs> to be solved at once, it takes um, what you'll learn from the critical thinking, the, the decision making aspect, um, and some of the other areas and, you know, applying it to a problem, understanding that there's prioritization, things like that. Um, then we will go over creative thinking. And so as we would have worked through a problem, we'll think about how could we approach it creatively? How can we approach our life creatively? Everything around you has started as a thought and worked its way into a tangible creation. And so if we think about a light bulb, if we think about our TV, if we think about the computer or the phone that you are you know, viewing this on, it came from a series of ideas and also from a problem that we weren't able to communicate as efficiently. I remember learning about, you know, the the post and how people are writing and, you know, sending like messages in a bottle, so to speak. And it would take months, right? But now we're able to send messages instantly, if you remember MSN Messenger, um, things like that, you know. And so being able to be creative in any situation and using your resources wisely. That is an important skill that we thought we should add to this Mastering Life series. And I really hope that that's one that everyone joins in on uh, because I find that I wasn't seeing as many um, activity on that particular area. The next is on assertiveness and being able to express yourself in a way that uh, commands respect while being respectful. And so that focuses on being able to manage our emotions and to be able to think um, creatively and critically at the same time um, so that you're able to speak and also to write in a way that your message is heard without much interference. Because communication, while it is a key, it is uh, one of the more difficult areas of building connections and relationships. Which we'll go into next is interpersonal relations. Um, that is focusing on how we connect with others, how we build those relationships, build our network, build ourselves, and how we manage the perceptions that um, the world puts on us and how we are able to communicate effectively with others and nurture those connections. And finally, resilience. Uh, that is an area we thought would be very important, and it does focus on mental health. It focuses on making sure that you're able to um, take breaks because they're necessary, and you wouldn't want to experience burnout in any way. We want to make sure that even though we talk about being strong and uh, resilient, being able to overcome adversity, that there's a way that we can do that in our daily lives, that we still take care of ourselves, we nurture ourselves and those around us because we aren't able to help as effectively if we're not our best self. So that's a highlight of some of the topics that we're going to be doing during this series. And you will be joining me um, over the course of some time and so we'll build a connection, of course, through our WhatsApp community, um, through these interactive discussions that we will have, as well as any activity that we do um, outside of our virtual environment, which you would receive invitations for from time to time. So those activities um, are going to be focused on applying the skills that we learn um, it, within each workshop. And so there won't be an activity for each and every workshop, but for those that we can find um, and has activities arise um, locally here in Antigua and Barbuda, we will 
have those and you will be notified. The next thing that I want to go into is format. So this is a group format whenever we meet on our monthly sessions. However, because some um, interactions may need to be on an individual level, there may need to be some particular discussions uh, that would be held, of course, in confidence and privacy or a particular situation that you may you know, need advice on. We'll also have individual sessions that can be scheduled. Um, the main channel for that will be through uh, Calendly so that you would know um, based on my overall schedule when I am available. And of course, you can connect with me in the community so that you can let me know, hey, I need a quick call on something that came up. What is your advice on handling this? Um, it, it, it would be that I'm accessible in that way as well. The thing about life is that every journey is individual and there's no cookie cutter. Um, some decisions, of course, have to come from gut feeling and it's a high probability at times that no one's ever experienced that particular sequence of events the way that you are experiencing them. And so this is where, based on the tools that you're going to get through this particular series, you'll be able to apply it um, from a personal and individual level, but I'm here definitely as a resource to help you with that. As I also would have been talking about the WhatsApp community that will be created um, where we'll be able to have these interactions um, and also to share opportunities. I often come across opportunities for young, for young people and people in general who want to learn more in a particular field, whether that is in infrastructure, environment, or um, gender relations, labor laws, um, international development, local developments, and we'll be able to share, you know, current affairs and have a discussion um, about that so that we're staying engaged um, even in between our group sessions. Right? And so the outcome of all of these things, um, all of these workshops is to be able to prepare you for what may come next. We don't know what life um, has in store for us, um, but it should bring you uh, to the point where you're able to uh, tackle anything, you know, fearlessly, um, bravely, and with courage, and to know that even if there's a point of a failure, a point where you're not doing as well, that you're able to use the tools that you have, the knowledge that you have here, um, and of course, while trusting your heart and in your gut instincts to move forward and to propel yourself in your own life and taking charge of what that looks like. Okay, so now that we've gone over our ground rules, we've done some introductions, we know now exactly what we're going to experience in terms of our Mastering Life series. Um, I encourage you to reach out. Let me know what are some of the, the ideas you have for workshops if an item wasn't covered. And then also tell me about uh, some of the challenging aspects of life, being a young adult, navigating your career, um, you know, wanting to start or switch to a new career, um, starting your own business, uh, in, interpersonal relations with uh, your, your family, your coworkers, friends, um, and also any educational challenges that you may have. Uh, maybe you're seeking to learn more about a particular topic or earn a certification, um, if it's something along the lines of studying, anything like that. Um, any challenging areas that you have been experiencing in life, and then you would want us to build upon it in terms of creating a workshop surrounding that particular topic. Next, of course, this is a space where we want to hear feedback. We want to know that you've been enjoying the sessions. We want to know what we could be doing better for the sessions. So let us know. You would have already stated some when you registered, but let us know what are some of the expectations you have from the Mastering Life series. If you are not registered, but you are watching, um, feel free to comment to let us know uh, what you think could be done better um, and anything that you would like to see. And then are your topics of interest covered? Let us know, thumbs up, tell me, um, put it in our group so that we know exactly um, if our items are where you were hoping to have this particular series covered. And that way we know, let's go full steam ahead. Um, but this is a very flexible environment. And that's also one of the reasons why 
from doing this series is so that we can be adaptable because life, of course, requires us to be adaptable and to be flexible as much as possible. All right, so our next group session will be next month. The date will be posted, but for individual sessions, feel free to contact me in terms of um, going over this particular session with questions that you have, as well as um, going into any particular area that you feel that you would like some guidance on, and I will see you soon. Take care.